Hello guys, Pokemon TCG here with another Pokemon video. So today I'm going to be talking about the Pokemon metagame. So this is the metagame that I've seen at my recent League Cups that I've showed up to. Also, uh, tournament results all around the world. So the main three decks that I've seen are Evil Tall Darkrai, aka Turbo Darkrai, which uh, mainly focuses on setting up a ton of bench Pokemon with Dark Energies and using Darkrai's attack Dark Pulse to do 20 plus 20 times the amount of Dark Energies on the field and do a butt ton of damage. So the second deck is Decidueye Vileplume, which the focus of the deck is it uses Lugia EX, which is an attacker that does 20 times the amount of energies attached to Lugia and your opponent's active Pokemon. So, you use that with Decidueye and Vileplume, which what Decidueye does is it does 20 damage to any of your opponent's Pokemon per turn. And Vileplume, when you evolve, it shuts off items for both Pokemon. For both players. Uh, the third deck is Volcanion, which uses Baby Volcanion and Volcanion. And the goal of it is just to get a, set up a ton of Volcanions, you steam up and do a crap ton of damage. So let's get it right into the list. So the first list is Decidueye GX from Pablo Meza, who plays second place in Melbourne, aka Oceanic Internationals. So he played four Rallet, four Dark Tricks, four Decidueye GX, two Oddish, two Gloom, two Vileplume, two Lugia, one Meow, and three Shaman EX. Pretty standard, using a 444 Decidueye line. Uh, and a 2-2-2 two, two, two Vileplume line, also using Lugia, like I said before, to do the damage, and Shaman, obviously, to draw cards. So, he runs 28 trainers, so the line of trainers is 4 Sycamore, 3 N, 2 Lysander, 4 Ultra Ball, 3 Level Ball, 4 Trainers Mal, 2 Revitalizer, 2 Floatstone, and 4 Forest of Giant Plants. So, he uses these items to try and get Decidueye and Vileplume set up as quick as possible with the level balls, the ultra balls, get Shaman, draw more cards, evolve quickly, force giant plants, and just set up and do as much as you can on turn one. So its energy line runs eight energy, four double colorless, and four grass. Pretty standard. So the second list I'm going to be showing you is Darkrai uh, Evil Tall which was played by Jesper Eriksson, who came fourth place in Melbourne, aka the International Championship in, yeah, Melbourne. So, he runs four Darkrai EX, two Evil Tull, one Hoopa EX, and three Shaman EX. This deck uh, uses uh, three Shaman, which is really interesting for this deck, because it normally r doesn't run many Shaman, because it runs a ton of Silent Lab. This list only runs one Silent Lab, though, so I see where he was going. He runs a ton of trainers in this list. He runs 38 trainers. 4 Sycamore, 2 N, 2 Lysander, 1 Hex, 1 Delinquent, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Trainers Mail, 4 Via Seeker, 4 Max Elixir, 2 Escape Rope, 1 Switch, 1 Enhanced Hammer, 2 Fighting Fury Bell, 1 Floatstone, 3 EXP Share, 1 Parallel City, and 1 Silent Lab. Oh, that's a mouthful. So, he mostly uses all of these trainers and supporters just to get set up as many Dark Rise and evil tolls as he can as quick as possible using oblivion wing to attach energy from the discard pile that you discard with sycamore or ultra ball uh you use hoopa to get shaman to draw more max elixirs and fighting fury belts also exp share when you get knocked out you just attach the energies back onto the pokemon and do even more damage so even if you get knocked out the energies are still safe and he runs 12 energies, 12 plain darkness energies, pretty standard. So the final deck I'm going to be showing you is Volcanian EX by Pedro Inguino. He came first place at Melbourne, and his Pokemon line, he runs 11 Pokemon. He runs 4 Volcanian EX, 3 Baby Volcanian, 1 Salamence, 2 Shaman, and 1 Hoopa EX. I actually ran this list at a recent League Cup that I won, so... I think the list is really good. Uh, Salamence is an interesting Pokemon in this deck. Some people don't run it. I personally like it. Doing 60 damage times the amount of Pokemon EX 
on my opponent's field, which is really good. He runs also a ton of trainers, just like uh, Jesper. He runs 37. He runs 4 Sycamore, 2 N, 2 Lysander, 1 Fisherman, 1 Olympia, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Trainers Mail, 4 Via Seeker, 4 Max Elixir, 2 Energy Retrieval, 2 Escape Rope, 2 Fighting Fury Belt, 2 Floatstone, 2 Skyfield, and 1 Scorched Earth. Oh, that's another mouthful. So, just like Jesper, he actually runs this to attach as many energies and to get back as many energies. So you can use Steam Up, which uh, does 30 more damage for each fire for each time you discard a fire energy, which is really good. And you use Volcanic Heat, which is Volcanian's attack that does 130 damage for 3 fire, and just try and one-shot anything by using Steam Up with Energy Retrieval and Fisherman. So he runs 12 energy, uh, being basic fire, which you need for the Steam Ups and the attachments with the Baby Volcanian with the power heater and everything. You need that many energies. I think that you could even run more energies, but you don't even have enough room. So, thank you guys for watching. This was Pokemon TCG. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been the Pokemon Metagame. Thanks for watching.